so I got my career start in government about back in the 90s in Western Mass at a local level, at a city, and from there I transitioned to the Mass Department of Environmental Protection and was there for over 10 years as a Brownfields coordinator and then moved on to a quasi-state agency, the Mass Clean Energy Center. And I have to say, I really enjoyed my time in government. I felt like the work and time we put into shaping these policy and incentive programs, whether it was for the cleanup of contaminated sites, brownfield sites, so that communities could revitalize areas and redevelop them. Or Mass EC, where I administered incentive programs to help residents put solar on their roofs and wastewater treatment plants to put land-based wind to power their facilities. I, all of that was great and I felt like it was really benefiting the public good and the environment and, and creating jobs and helping the economy. And then when I first became familiar with the, with the term sustainability, I thought of it more about the environment, but in my time at Eversource, I've really learned a lot about the opportunities as a whole when it comes to the social part of sustainability and governance part of sustainability. And you really need the E, S, and the G to, to be a sustainable, strong business that looks forward and offers things for in the future for generations to come. When the opportunity at Eversource came up in 2015, I really jumped, jumped at the chance to work there. I felt like it was a great opportunity to see all those policies and regs and programs that I worked on at the state, how they actually operated in the field. And it's been really rewarding. I feel like it's been another way to be impactful on the things I care about, which is environmental protection and stewardship and deploying clean energy to reduce emissions and also promoting economic development to help our communities. Very much at Eversource, we're focused on our customers and our communities, and that, that's really our primary objective, to keep the energy flowing. And at the state, it was our residents, our taxpayers, and our municipal officials, and, and uh, benefiting them with our programs and regulations. And, you know, Eversource, we're the largest energy company in the region. And so we have a lot of regulations that govern and guide us day to day, whether it's state or federal or, or local. And I have to say a lot of the things that uh, the states are doing in New England, we're lucky we have states that are really aggressive on, on climate targets. And, and a lot of the policy work they're doing really benefits and creates uh, business opportunities for companies like Eversource. And so it's been a great opportunity and you know really exciting within Eversource to work cross-functionally to drive that performance that investors and our states and our customers and, and others in this region are looking for when it comes to the environment. The EBC board is a, is a great group of people and leaders and they really represent all parts of the energy and environmental industry. You have lawyers and regulators and consultants and energy company folks like myself. And you know everyone brings at the board a different perspective, which has been great, and to hear those different perspectives and inform what we're doing as an organization. But you know it's funny I, I've seen through the board meetings and also through strategic retreats that we do just a lot of commonalities too and uh, sharing of information. You know we also have a focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion. We all want to do more within our companies, and we're looking for examples and guidance. We all are also leaders in the industry, the larger industry. We want to help shape and change that industry and do more with DEI in the in the larger industry. So the EBC has really provided a great opportunity for all of us to kind of come together and share our success stories and best practices and and really advance things for New England as a whole. But I have to say the. I think the biggest accomplishment uh, that I have working with the EBC organization has been as chair. I couldn't be happier with where the organization is today. So I'm really, really uh, honored and proud to, to get such an award, to look back at my career, which has really spanned all these different sectors and, and things and, and evolved to what it is today. And just to, to look back, have that opportunity to look back at, at all of that, how that all comes together and, um, and you know, my impact. It's, uh, really proud and, and thankful about that.